Amity University presents the News Hour Special Edition with Arnob Goswami. Good evening and welcome to the News Hour. In the heart of Mumbai, in the busiest part of its business district, in broad daylight, a young lady, not even alone, but accompanied by a young man is dragged from the street and she's raped one after the other by five men. Day after day, not just in Mumbai, but across the entire nation. In uh, we're going to look at this issue in depth tonight on the news line. With me in the studios, uh, to my right is MN Singh, is former commissioner of police in the city of Mumbai. MN Singh, thank you for coming. To my left is Rahul Narvekar, spokesperson for the Shiva Sena. Uh, to his left is a very well-known lyricist, ad man, uh, Prasun Joshi. Thank you very much, Prasun. Uh, Gurbir Singh is president of the press club in Mumbai, and they've been had ho holding a protest through this entire afternoon. Gurbir, I saw you there. Thank you for coming tonight. We completely empathize with how the press club of Mumbai journalists feel about this. Uh, Roshan Abbas, writer and director, Harshim Radbadal, Member of Parliament of the Shiromani Akali Dal. Smriti Rani of the BJP. Renuka Chaudhary of the Congress. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on this debate. And I want to begin by saying we'll debate this as long as we need to. I'm not putting a, a time band on this. Ashazia Elmi of the Aam Aadmi Party. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you, everyone, for coming. MN Singh, this happens again and again. You've been Commissioner of the City of Mumbai. What's so rotten with our system that these perverts carry on like this? Well, uh, Arnab, everything is rotten about the system. If yeah. We're talking about the system. Yeah. But I hope you will not confine this debate only to, to the mere law and order issues Why? aspect of this problem. There is a social aspect. There is an issue of the, the, the male psyche. There is the issue of judiciary. There is the issue of, of course, police and law and order management. Yeah. Now, you have to have a very objective discussion of this issue and not merely discuss this as a police problem. Yes, police... So what about the issue of punishment? What about the issue of... You are for the death penalty or not no, for it? I am not at all for the death penalty. Yeah, that's if death penalty was really an answer, all murders would have been stopped by well, now. That's a very now, weak argument. If you, if you that's, are a very, to, that's a very weak kind of no, argument. If you, you know, want to really have a severe punishment, yes. I would rather say that go and castrate these rapists. And I would uh, uh, rather than hanging them. But if you are really asking for the punishment part of it, it is not this severity of the punishment, but the certainty of it that is impossible. That is well, uh, you know, in if this today 18% no. people only are getting convicted. Certainty, if, if certainty, yes, but severity also. You yes, see, when you course. have a situation like this, let's I let's think, put. I think no, our no, law let, is quite severe. It's, it's, let's the get the Rahul. punishment provided for the no, rape no, no. Uh, is quite quite no, adequate. That, well, really, but if, how if, many if, of the rapists are getting that kind no, of? No, no. If 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 it was, it's if it was, I hope your debate will be objective and no, cover all the no, aspects. No, I, I thank you for that. It'll be as objective, but I also want to look at the issues threadbare and straight. The death penalty for rape is certainly a more severe punishment than what is being proposed. Rahul Narvekar, your views on it, because we need to get this debate back on. Well, or not? I'm. I'm quite sure that the death penalty is certainly a very, very strong punishment, but I really doubt if it could be a deterrent in the society. I think the problem is not with the quantum or the kind of punishment. The problem is with the justice dispensation system and, and the administrative the, well, how system. How long will that take to change? That's, that's the point. That's the point. So should we it, wait? Should it, we it, wait? It, no, no. Should we wait ad nauseum till it changes? Maybe absolutely. a decade or two. Uh, till it changes. How many more rapes will you happen? You are in absolutely Delta? right. It is our resilience. It is our tolerance that has led to this. I think we are allowing the state administrators to uh, let, let them administer the way they want to and we are not uh, making them uh, accountable and that's the problem. For example, the state government had given directives four years ago to all, uh, the central government had given directives four years ago to all the state governments to establish an all-women police station in every district of the states. Let me tell you that the state of Maharashtra in the last four years has failed to establish even one such police station. There are 49,170 pending cases of crime against women in the state of Maharashtra. Yeah. And yeah, the and state government has failed to establish the required number of fast track courts. Well, I think so, so, so you're the doing answer, a lot of grandstanding so, so, again. So the, so the answer you're to your question a lot of is make again. the administrators responsible. You're doing, you won't need to enhance no, no, punishment. You're doing Give a, the punishment that has been decided 
and that will be enough. You're, 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 so you're, you're doing a lot of grandstanding again. What is the grandstanding? Again, because I've you're doing you the facts and figures. You're doing typical I've given you the facts and figures. Sure, you know, if you disagree I, 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 or you are, want to counter it, yeah, give me yeah, facts. Yeah, I, I, I tell you today, you know, I, I tell you, you are doing grandstanding. You don't agree with me, that's fine. You're doing grandstanding. You remember yesterday, and I don't want to lecture you, no, but your MLA, no, no, your MLA, and, and Renuka Chaudhary disagrees. I, want to, have a, I want to have a quick open round. Your MLA yesterday ransacked an all-women uh, 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 toll booth. It, it was all female staff present at the poll toll booth. His name was Anil Kadam. You learn to discipline your MLAs also, show more respect to women before you quickly politicize the issue. Renuka Chaudhary. you, I won't like to politicize the Chaudhary. debate. The fact that one wrong does you not know, justify you know, I, the other applies the, in this case just because one MLA is conducted in a manner I, I, which is not acceptable. I, I'm not, I'm not Let's a, not give a go by to the, what has happened well, in I, Mumbai I, I, yesterday. I, I, I'm, I'm, Let's please I'm not, not politicize those, this debate. You know, I, Let's stick to the point I, and not, argue on merit. I, I'm not among those people who live in their ivory towers who say, oh, you know, let's not politicize it. Let's only preach. I, I'm not going to do that. This I'm is not. times now. We're not going to follow that line of argument. It's, it's certainly politicians need to be responsible. Re Roshan wants to come in, but before that, Renuka Chaudhary seemed to be disagreeing with your opening remarks. Uh, if it's all right with the panelists, I want to have a quick opening round. Re Renuka Chaudhary, the BJP has seized upon this issue. And the BJP said, I think it was Meenakshi, like you said, these incidents are on the rise because of the Congress. NCP government. I, before I ask Smriti Rani whether she agrees with the statement of a fellow spokesperson, I want your response to I think it's a completely asinine accusation. Asinine. And it shows the lack of uh, uh, vision to understand what uh, exactly is at the bottom of this. And it's very unfortunate that the BJP only wants to politicize. This is a party which had to dismiss Raghavji. This is a party which is certifying Asaram Babu's uh, uh, extracurricular activities. No, let's be, no, let's be direct. Asaram, that, Asaram, Asaram Babu, one second. Madhya Pradesh. Asaram Babu, I, uh, for our viewers, I, I, just I, to clarify. I, to clarify. Sorry to interrupt you. I want to put things in context. Yeah. I come back to you. Renuka Chaudhary is referring to Asaram Bapu, who has been charged, Operation World is charged with raping a 15-year-old girl in his yes. ashram in Jodhpur, and Uma Bharti rushes to his defense, saying this is politically motivated. So I'm just saying, putting the question here, let's be clear here today, when a politician like Uma Bharti comes and gives a clean shit to Asaram Bapu, accused of rape, they're also going to have to do some deep introspection. Renuka Chaudhary, please continue. Then I'll get Smriti Rani into it. Yes, and, and what the gentleman before was talking, he yes, forgot Rahul to mention Narbekar. that Maharashtra has the highest number of female, politi uh, female police officers. So what are we talking about? Madam, let me tell you there are 236,000 policemen that in the police force of Maharashtra and, and only 17,000 women cons uh, police results. officers okay, let her and constables. Not even 10%. Let her complete. So, so, let her so complete. what are you grandstanding let, about? Let her, let her complete, otherwise we won't get a quick opening round. Yes, please complete. So this is I, what I'm saying, Adnav, these are issues I do not want women to become rape statistics. And it's such a pity that the BJP can only think of politicizing this. I don't, what answers do they have that one-year-olds are being raped, ten-year-olds are being raped at home? And what about the women who are being raped at home? Once, looking once, at statistics one, 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 one second, one second. It's not a, it's not a ship set up BJP reporting Congress because debate. of the media. One, at least there's huge reporting that's going on. And that, that gives you the figures. But at the, at the tragedy is that people only want to take political No, but I also understand, you know, Renuka Chaudhary. Renuka Chaudhary, I'm asked today, I, I, I was asked today that what, what has the media done? Have you covered every incident of rape? But you see, I, 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 we have not been in power in Maharashtra for 13 years. Right? We are not the chief ministers no. or ministers of Maharashtra. You, you are running the government. So it's relevant comment. Uh, Smriti, I will let you give a full turn to respond, but I want Roshan Abbas, a citizen of Mumbai. You know, what do you feel about the ongoing debate? Roshan, your, your turn. You know, um, Arnab, see, this is what happens. I mean, you, you, the minute you have a set of politicians on your show, everybody finds that this is the perfect moment to point a finger at someone else. Let's just look at all political parties. 30% no, not... of our elected representatives are criminals. 30% of our elected representatives are criminals. All parties get together, turn and say, okay, let's look within, let's get rid of them. Because yeah. in our nation, we are sanctifying criminals. We are constantly saying, if you can rob, if you can <coughs> plunder, if you can rape, maybe tomorrow I'll make you an elected representative. No, maybe look, tomorrow you'll get me some cast votes. Maybe tomorrow you'll get that slum to come and vote <coughs> for me. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Why can they not just say, okay, fine, we believe there's a problem, criminalization is an issue, but politics is so criminalized, get rid of the 30%, give us some sign 
that you are doing something. Otherwise, this will become BJP telling Congress, Congress telling Shiv Sena, Shiv Sena telling someone else. And we no, lost no, you the see, and I, that I, noise in that cacophony, we get lost. No, we get lost, but you know, we it's time to talk the uncomfortable truth, right? And the uncomfortable truth is this, and I put this to Smriti Irani. Smriti Irani, now we ask ourselves, what is the problem? You know, why can't politicians say we'll have the death penalty for rapists? I, I hope it is not the case. I hope it is not the case that it is because there are six politicians, MLAs in our country today, elected MLAs, who have declared that they have charges of rape, huh? not sexual assault. Rape charges against them in their sworn election no. affidavits submitted with the Election Commission of India. I I'm sorry to say this, but one of those six, Smriti Irani, happens to be from your party, the BJP. I'm not making this political. I'm just making it real. Real. Where do you stand, Smriti Irani? I think in the garb of not making things political, in the garb of keeping it apolitical, Renuka ji and you have said quite a few things. Let me just reaffirm one thing on your channel. I'm the same individual with whom you had engaged with in December 2012. I say this again, irrespective of political affiliation, irrespective of ideology, any individual who perpetrates a crime against women should be duly prosecuted and convicted. That is my stand. That is my party stand. Now, Mr. Abbas uh, very rightfully now uh, expresses his angst with regards to political mudslinging. While I completely understand a citizen's concern and the desire to see change and the desire to see justice being swiftly delivered, let us also understand that it is this very democratic setup. It is these very citizens who through a vote elected a government into power. I am categorically saying tonight on your channel, like Mr. Singh did, that there are various aspects with regards to solutions that need to be addressed. Yeah. I am not going to get into a Congress BJP tutu meme on this channel no, you tonight. you can't because you but all have equally bad statistics. No, no, I, I, Arnab, I, I will like never stand in. here and give an apology or an excuse. No, it's a reality, Smriti. I'm I not pitting one against the other. I, I am saying. I'm not standing here. I am like not sitting here. I, I am not sitting here to. I am. I am honestly saying. No, I understand. I but I, I am. I am honestly telling you. No, 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 no. One sec. One sec. One sec. You see, what I am saying here today is. Can I please? Uh, no. Can, can I, I just, please? Can put I say four, one thing, Smriti? Points, can I just say one small thing to you, Smriti? And I want to get a quick yes. opening round. I will give you and yes. everyone more. More than enough of your says today. As I said, I will not even limit how long After I'll do this After you say what tonight. you have to say, I allow me to respond. I just want to say this to you, Smriti, that before you politicize it, because I can prove, I can also get no, into this debate and I can prove the Congress wrong, the Shiv Sena 100% wrong, the BJP 99% wrong, and I'm sure I can prove almost every party on the program wrong. What I'm saying to you, Smriti, is before you extract political <laughs> mileage of an incident, right, you have to look at your own track record, right? Can I respond? You have to know. You have to look at your own track Can record. I how many? How long, for example, has the BJP been in power in Madhya Pradesh? Isn't that the state which has the highest number of registered rape cases in the entire country? So Can let's I be respond, very real about. It. I don't want to politicize it because none of you have a good Again, record. Yes. No, no. In the garb of not wanting to politicize. No, but I'm not politicizing it. If you are of the exactly opinion, the if no. you are of the opinion that I will not be. Anybody who wants to jump in, feel free to do so after I'm finished. If you are of the opinion that I shall not be equally outraged as I am about a girl being gang raped in Mumbai, equally be outraged about crime against women in Madhya Pradesh or any other BJP governed state, I think you could be, there is absolutely, it will be the most inhumane I, way of looking at a crime against women at, at a rate. I, I, I have heard your I have heard your disposition. Allow me to finish. The questions that I have been categorically <coughs> raised uh, raising in Parliament, which have still got unanswered, and on many occasions, even my friend from the Congress Party, Renuka Chaudhary, has supported me on the floor of the House. Let me say this: the questions that I have asked, which have gone answered unanswered, are these: one, is mere passage of a bill enough? to deter criminals. <coughs> Every time such a brutal incident happens, even today, you heard many a sound bites where people were reassured that a criminal law amendment bill was passed. <coughs> what did that bill do? It no, just are... redefined rape. It extended, it extended the punishment given. 
But all this is did all this is all this is all this is, no, no, all this is great. you are taking the discussion. No, no, you are I, I am I, I don't have a technical argument today. Are you telling I, no, me? No, this I is won't not, no, no, one second. Should not Smriti, be discussed? Smriti, 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 let me tell are you. Are you telling this. me it should not be discussed? I, one second. I first want to tell you one thing. You ask Uma Bharti, what right does she have to give Asaram Bapu a clean shit? When he's after after an FIR is filed against him by rape, no, and I want you all get together to stop. You know, you all get together to protect your own yes, stuff. No, I'm getting, allow me I'm, to I'm getting, answer that question. No, I've, I've asked you the question twice. I'm answering you will not that question Uma that you put to me. On the program tonight. No I know individual you in this country. You have to rise above your political compulsions. No individual in this country. 